everyone, my name is Nate Lex and welcome back to x -Dex. Today I'm going to be teaching you a basic beginner move called the deck split or the deck roll. It's one of the easiest tutorials you will probably ever learn, so without further ado, let's jump into it. Alright guys, I want to let you know this is probably going to be one of the easiest tutorials I've ever taught you or your money back, so let's jump into it. So for the deck split or the deck roll, the position you want to be in is dealer's grip with the pinky moved back to the bottom short side, like this. You're also going to raise it so there's space below your fingers, and this is how you're going to start. Essentially, if you were sitting down in a chair or standing up, you'd be looking down at the cards like this, and the deck would be on this plane, so it would be tilted to the side like I'm holding it right now. Uh, your thumb that's holding this grip right here is going to make room for your non-dealer's uh, grip thumb, and it's literally going to split a packet off like this. It can be half, it can be a third, it can be almost all of them. It's up to you guys, but what is regularly done is about a half, and this hand gets ready to catch the cards by opening up like this. So what's going to happen is you're going to mirror this grip in this hand by pulling off half from underneath, allowing it to hinge off this way as if you were opening a book like this. It's going to roll into these hands, so you're going to extend your index finger and your pinky finger while allowing the ring finger and the middle finger to make a sort of basket. And then what happens is, as this opens up, these are going to lay into the middle and the ring on this side. And then what's going to happen is, your hand's going to help kind of tilt over into the hand like this, and your thumb is going to catch it. So I'll do it in slow motion you'll catch like this. And now you have a mirrored grip of two decks in raised dealer's grip like this in both hands. And then I roll it back. So let me just go over it one more time and that's pretty much it. So what you do is you get into this grip, elevated, thumb breaks off here, index finger extends, it cups like this, roll over so that it lands on your middle and your ring fingers, index is above it, pinky is below it. You start to catch with these, like this, and then your thumb grabs it, and now you're like this. And just to roll back, all you do is reverse that motion, but you curl your index finger in, kind of like you're doing a deck roll, if you've seen, or a deck flip, excuse me, if you've seen that before. And what you do is apply pressure there, pinching and extending, leaving your thumb, so the middle and the index pull, or the index pushes, I'm sorry, and the thumb lets go, like this. And all you do is you push, like this and roll the deck over on top and then I like to clean up by pushing my thumb or riding my thumb along the bottom side. And guys, that is literally the deck split and the deck roll. I realize I've done this in a lot of my moves and thought, I haven't taught this on the channel at all. Don't know if beginners would know this or not, so I thought I'd teach it. Hope you guys enjoy this and this is going to be necessary for the next tutorial next week, so I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video on the deck split or the deck roll. If you guys didn't know this before, I hope this was super helpful, and if you did know it already, then why did you watch the video? Anyway, without further ado, let's jump into some housekeeping. So if you guys don't know already, I work for xdex.com, that's x-dex.com. We sell rare decks of playing cards, we make our own decks of playing cards, and you guys can buy them all on our online store, there's a link in the description for that. We make our own cards, the Sukuyomi and the Lo-Fi deck, I almost forgot that, the Japanese-themed and the music-themed decks, and they're ones that I help produce myself. So if you guys want to help buy some cards from the store, it keeps this YouTube channel up and running for free for you guys so you can learn more cardistry and hopefully enjoy more content in the future. Uh, we just passed a thousand subscribers, so if you guys want to subscribe to our channel, that would be awesome. Um, I'm still working on a giveaway, getting permission for what I'm allowed to give out to you guys, so you'll see that up hopefully in the coming weeks. Um, also, if you haven't, follow us on Instagram. It's at xdexrarecards. I reply to all your comments on the YouTube channel and the Instagram and love interacting with you guys online. We reply pretty much within 24 hours if not immediately especially if I'm online I go live sometimes and I'd love to see you guys over there also you can check out our discord there's a link in our description
description for that. And I am going to be on there every Thursday from 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time jamming with you guys or helping uh, working out some troubleshooting if you guys are messing up moves. But anyway, guys, thank you so much again for watching my video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.